there is a battle within us, the battle between the flesh and the spirit, the ways of the flesh and the ways of the spirit. The spirit in us yields or longs for the things of God, well as the flesh longs for the ways of the world. And many a times for the temporary pleasures of the world, we give in to the desires of the flesh thinking that it will not affect us, it will not have a long-term consequence. But we need to know that what you sow into is what you're going to reap in life. What you give more time to is what is going to yield into your life. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 and 8, Paul beautifully writes, he says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. He says, do not be deceived. Do not be cheated. Do not be fooled. Do not be blinded. No, don't, don't be short-sighted by the things that the flesh offers you. Don't be short-sighted that it's going to give you pleasure for long, for eternity. Because it's all temporary. And that's why we need to understand when you sow to the spirit, you will reap eternal life. You will reap life. But sowing to the flesh, you may get temporary gains. But long term, it will be loss. What you sow, you will reap. What you sow, you will reap. The, the time that you give to your flesh or to your spirit is the life that you're going to live accordingly. We need to make a choice. If we want to grow in God, we need to spend more time feeding, this, feeding our spirit to communion, to have communion with the Holy Spirit, to yield to the Holy Spirit, that, that, that He would lead us, that He would guide us. And as we yield to Him, as we sow our lives to the, to the desires of our spirit, we will begin to see our lives grow. I want to ask you who is watching today, maybe you are struggling in the with, uh, with certain areas of your life. Maybe you're struggling with sin. Maybe the desires of the flesh seem, seem, seem to be uncontrollable. But I want to tell you, you need to start yielding to the ways of God. You need to start letting the word of God soak. Feed your spirit. Feed your inner man. Let the word of God be your food for your inner man. And as you spend more time with the things of God, you will be able to overcome the ways of the flesh. You will be able to overcome the things that are dominating your flesh. I want to encourage you who's watching, sow into your spirit, sow into, into your inner man, the things of God, and you will begin to see true life. You will begin to enjoy life. The, the ways of the flesh temporarily may seem really amazing. And truly, it is amazing temporarily, but the effects of it are everlasting corruption. There's a lot of things that happen in us that begin to be corrupted, that begin to get destroyed. But when you feed your spirit, you will begin to grow. You grow in God. Once again, I want to say, do not be deceived by the temporary pleasures of the flesh. Do not be blinded. Do not be fooled. Do not be cheated by the ways of the flesh because it will only yield corruption. God bless you.